Hey there, Brad. It's so great to see you. I can't wait to connect with you in person in just a few weeks at the Southern California Seminary Call to Care Conference. I think that's October 11th and 12th. And I'm really looking forward to hearing your plenary session during that event. Can you tell us a little bit about what it is going to be covering? Yeah, so the theme of the conference is going to be on resilience. Uh, and so my my plenary talk uh, I'm going to be wrestling with the question, what does it look like to be Christ-like in the midst of suffering? Uh, so often when we think about uh, Christ-likeness, we think about purity and purification and holiness, uh, fleeing from sin. Um, but asking the question in hard times when we're facing suffering, what does it look like to exemplify the perseverance of Christ uh, in the midst of suffering uh, so that we feel like those are times when we can uh, both ourselves and those that we counsel become more like Christ. Uh, so how about you? What's your plenary? I'm going to be sharing a little bit of a blend of personal testimony with teaching from 1 Peter 1, which is the kind of the theme passage of the conference and talking about living hope. Really love to help the audience wrestle with the the questions that come up in the midst of suffering. What difference does living hope make when we feel hopeless in our suffering? Now, how can it be true that we have a God of great mercy, as Peter talks about in that passage, um, but we experience great suffering? And I'd like to explore that with, with the audience for the purposes of helping others minister to those that they are walking alongside uh, who are going through seasons of suffering and, and starting to feel hopeless and having those big faith-related questions and doubts. And so that's what I'll be touching on during my keynote. One of the things I'm also excited about with this conference is that we're going to have breakouts. Uh, and so there's going to be a variety of people there, and you and I also get to lead one of those. Uh, the breakout that uh, that I'll get to lead is on forgiveness. Uh, and when it comes to resiliency, uh, I don't know that there's many things that zap our uh, energy and morale like conflict with people that we're close to and uh, that have hurt us or we've hurt them. And uh, forgiveness is such a powerful, beautiful, central thing to the gospel. And the more powerful something is, uh, the more skilled we need to be with it. Uh, and so what I hope to do is in the midst of um, close relationships where there's been significant pain, uh, how do we guide and counsel people through the experience of forgiveness in a way that honors the power and magnitude that forgiveness has in our life? I mean, I'll be leading a workshop actually on the power of lament, which will probably be a very natural um, pickup off of the keynote, just exploring how do we cry out to God when it feels like life is just too much to bear? And in what ways is lament even a sustaining grace in those seasons of suffering that the, the conference is seeking to address? So going to be exploring all of that for the purposes of helping others to equip those who are navigating suffering with that language to cry out to God in the midst of their pain in a way that helps their faith to become deeper instead of uh, disillusioned. That is such a needed uh, and unfortunately neglected subject on how do we lament well uh, and bring our pain to God. Uh, and so I'm looking forward to the conference, looking forward to getting to see you there and the many people who uh, will be joining us. Uh, I got to be a part of this conference last year, personally, very much enjoyed it. And so I hope those who are uh, listening along with us, that if you're anywhere near or can make it, uh, join us at this year's conference.